wild. I start lining up, I'll go out there with my camera, but... What's going on here? They're... Don't go, don't go down there. Yeah, no, they're coming off. They're coming off? Yep. All right. Well, then let's go back. Yeah? Okay. You give a thumbs up.
spectators. Yeah, this is the spot. This is where, this is where people will normally like wipe out. So they just gave the warning for uh, advanced group. We're gonna be taking a little bit of a passenger experience with them, so. All right, so this is the GPS thing? Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah? That's the GPS. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Josh, you seem scared. I am scared shitless, my friend. <laughs> I have kids at home. <laughs> you have kids at home. <laughs> My kids are coming. They're, oh yeah. They're gonna be here at like one. Okay. Yeah, I got a few photos of this thing going down the track. Big 
because you guys were kind of like front and back a lot of times. But the, by the time this thing disappeared, it reappeared. Like that's how damn fast it was. Yeah, I'm ready, baby. Whenever you are. Yeah. I figured this was better to put up because the wind in your face. track and he said he's gonna try out his drag car on the circuit track. Holy crap check. Like, look how ridiculous this looks. Turn my media vest, and then we're gonna get the heck out of here. a whole lot of sense. I think that's what fits the bill uh, for what Ben Hockman wants to achieve. And what does he want to achieve? That still remains to be the mystery. Uh, but, you know, curiosity can only lead to one thing or another. And you can, you know, kind of figure in for yourself what they're probably going to do and what they're best at. That's fabrication. I guess we'll wait and see what happens. But that was a trip, man. That was a trip. That was probably the most visceral 
car I've ever been in, um, period. And I've been in Ferrari 458s. I've been in uh, Lamborghini Huracans. As a passenger, you're definitely feeling all of it, you know, probably more so than the driver uh, in a lot of cases, in my opinion. About that, I'm, I'm willing to bet we're gonna see a lot more coming out of Hawkman Fabrication of Speed. We're gonna keep tabs on them and see what they come up with. Uh, and you know, see where this goes with this uh, journey of the uh, Porsche GT3. He wants to come back and do more. He wants to get more lap time. He wants more seat time. And uh, you know, it's incredible to actually just witness that out of somebody else, where you can obviously tell like this person is in it. Like as soon as they get that first taste, that's it. They're gone. Like they, that's all they want now. And so I can see that a little bit happening. Oh my God, these people are so slow. I trust that he's probably going to go full send with this and make something absolutely incredible uh, out of this GT3. And I, I really hope he does it. I really hope he goes full send with this. I hope that he makes something that is just an absolute monster and that I will never ever be a passenger in again. <laughs> a few things that still I still want to make videos about. This was just more of a vlog to just kind of like show the experience of what it is to tag along with Hockman Fabrication and Speed. It is a, it is a trip. It is a trip. Uh, getting to see these guys uh, load, unload, uh, their process, they're very, you know, everything is like, we need this, we need this. They're always prepared. They come out and they mean business. The crew is doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, it can be fun. There's, there's room for fun time. And so, you know, it just goes to show that, you know, as long as everybody is doing their job, you know, it's also a fun place to work. That's all I have to say about that. And uh, I hope to catch some of you guys on the next one. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> if this helped you, you know what to do. Uh, but this helped nobody because it's a vlog.